Alright, today we're going to be replacing the coolant elbows and the uh, belt tensioner wheel on this 1996 Buick LeSabre. And uh, I've got the new parts here. The coolant elbows are a very common thing to have happen. I don't think I've owned a 3800 where I didn't have to replace them. Uh, they break all the time. And you can get, you can get two different kinds. You can get uh, metal ones if you think uh, your car is going to last a while. Or you can get cheap plastic ones if you just need to replace it and keep it on the road. These will last, still last a long time, but if you want something to last forever, I suppose you'd get uh, the aluminum ones. These are only, I think I paid about three bucks for these and six for these. If you go to the auto parts store, they're going to be about uh, five and ten, roughly, without tax. And uh, I also got a uh, new tensioner wheel, nice, uh, nice metal one. I think I paid seven bucks for it. So it's not too expensive and it's a pretty easy fix. Um, most of the 3800s have this this elbow. Some of the older ones have a hose, but uh, um, all the newer ones, I believe, have, uh, have a plastic elbow that usually needs to be replaced. And the different years and the different models of cars that have the 3800 will have a slightly different setup on all the accessories, so that might be a little bit different, but overall uh, this basic procedure will work on everything so first I'm gonna take off the negative battery cable and then I'm gonna be taking the uh, alternator off and I'm gonna have to uh, remove this bracket and then uh, we can get in there I'll, of course take the belt off too just gonna slide the belt off out of the way and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that tension wheel off now. Now it has a reverse thread, so righty tighty lefty loosey is not how you work these. It's actually the opposite of that. So if I want to take it off, I'm going to, uh, to tighten this bolt or turn it like I am tightening it. You don't want to lose that bolt, but I'll find it later. Um, here's the wheel. This is a plastic one that uh, many of them come with. And I'm sure you can hear that roughness in the bearing. Um, it hasn't failed completely yet. Usually these plastic ones, when they fail, this bearing locks up and then uh, the plastic wheel comes off. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, I'll wait till I get the uh, elbows in to actually put the new one on. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this bar, and I'll get you a close-up of that elbow. All right, now the bar is all the way. Let's get you a close-up of the elbow. All right, there's the elbow. As you can see, it's pretty wet down there, and I have a feeling that's where the uh, where the coolant's coming from. Um, sometimes they leak like this. And I've had them twice where they've completely blown off, uh, getting onto a freeway on the on-ramp, and that'll leave you a nice, uh, nice trail of white smoke. So sometimes you know when they go, sometimes you don't. But all this nasty, sludgy, oily crap down there is a pretty good indicator that it's leaking. If you see it uh, below the water pump and not up here, then uh, your water pump has failed. So it's pretty easy to tell when they're leaking but uh, it's not a bad idea to replace them anytime you're in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put you back on the stand and uh, we'll get this alternator out of the way and go from there all right now there are three bolts holding this alternator in one here one here one down here on the front and then in the back we have a 10 millimeter uh, along the bracket so we should be able to uh, take these three off take that one off and I shouldn't have to take the brackets off the motor. I should be able to lift it up and pull it out of the way. So let's see how that goes. It looks like I lost the handle to my ratchet. That's what you get when you buy Harbor Freight, I guess. Ironically, it's the only 3 8 ratchet I have left that works, so it might tell you something. 
All right, alternator's out of the way. I'm not going to go ahead and unplug it. I just need it up and out of the way so I can get to all the other bolts. All right, now that we've got the alternator out of the way, it looks like we've got two bolts we need to remove. One is under here, and one is way back under here. You, you can't see them. I can't see them, so there's no way a camera's going to get in there. But we can go ahead and uh, see if we can get these off. get this piece out of the way. Well, they're on there pretty good. I think I'm going to go with a, uh, a half inch, a little bit bigger bar. This ought to do it. Maybe save a little hide off my hands. Got that one loose. There, now I can go back to my ratchet. Alright, there we go. That should be everything. Should be, I make no promises. Now I've got to try to uh, get it out of there. Not gonna pry too hard, but you can give it a little wiggle with this. My main problem is I'm getting hung up down here. I'll zoom in and show you. Here's a part down here that's giving me all this grief right here. Usually this is another plastic elbow on most of the cars. And that's why they give you two in a package, but apparently on this one they decided to make it out of aluminum and it's uh, sort of frozen in there. So I'm going to have to uh, keep wiggling that out. Hopefully I can get it pretty quickly, but as you can see when I wiggle this, the plastic ones, they come out pretty easy. So I'm going to keep wiggling and uh, we'll get her out of there. Well there we go, I was able to get it out, I'll zoom you in and uh, show you what's up. As you can see that's pretty well corroded in there. but. Uh, at least I don't have to replace it because it's metal and not uh, the other plastic coolant elbow. And this is what usually happens to these elbows. The front part has broken straight away from the, uh, the bottom part. So we're going to have to get inside this hole here that I don't think you can see. Right down there. And pull that little chunk of plastic out so we can put the new one in. And we'll also clean up that uh, that hole inside there. Actually, right there, I got the uh, the O-ring, and of course, as always, the uh, the little plastic end has found its way <laughs> inside, even though I didn't push it in. So I'm going to grab a pick and try to get that out of there. If not, I'm kind of lazy. I might leave it in, but. Clean this up and uh, we'll be able to put the new elbow in. Well, it looks like that the elbow is gone forever. And that little chunk of plastic in there. Sometimes if you've got coolant left in it, you can jack up that side of the vehicle and get it to push back over this way, but uh, I don't have any coolant in it because I changed out the radiator, so I'm just going to leave it in. Hopefully I won't do too much damage. Now we've got two elbows in the box that come with the kit. 
We've got this one here, which would replace this if you had a different setup. I'm not going to need this one because mine's made of metal. And you also have the uh, the longer one, which is about uh, equal on both sides. And that one goes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little, dip my finger in some coolant just to uh, make that go in there easier. And then, uh, and then we'll pop it in. And there we go. Should be all slid back together. Now we just got to bolt it back up. And there we go, she's all installed. Now I think I'll uh, go ahead and change the oil, because the guy I bought it from said he never changed it. Which isn't so bad, he only had it for uh, a year or two, but get that done, top her off with coolant, and uh, should be good to go.